Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of Chardonnays in front of me, uh, both from the Americas, one from North America, one from South America. Um, so I'll do the South American one first. Uh, it's uh, uh, Miguel Torres Santa Dina Unoak Chardonnay 2016. Uh, whereabouts is this from? Um, blah, 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 blah. I know they've got vineyards in Curico, but I don't know whether this is this one is from Curico. I'll I'll, I'll find out and uh, uh, put some sort of indication on somewhere you'll be able to find out. Uh, so weighing in at thirteen percent alcohol, give it a whirl. Gentle, juicy, peachy character here, and uh, it smells uh, as if this it's going to be full fresh, uh, just on the right side of um, a fruit cocktail syrup. So it feels like there is this sweetness and juiciness of ripe fruit rather than uh, rather than about, of any residual sugar or anything like that. And um, yeah, it smells like it's going to be quite full bodied. Yeah, there's like a nutty richness about it. Doesn't feel hugely complex. Big flavour, but simple flavour. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, perfectly pleasant. Not for me, has, doesn't quite have the extra mile to get me really excited about it, but decent enough wine. Hangs around in your mouth, but um, doesn't really stimulate the grain matter as much as I would like it to. Let's see what the second one does. This is uh, La Crema uh, 2015 Chardonnay from Monterey in California. And uh, alcohol-wise, the first one was 13 and this one's 13 and a half. So not much difference there. And this is the big, full, rich, unashamedly oaky wine. Um, maybe not as unashamedly oaky as some of them have been in the past, but uh, it, oak is certainly one of the things that you, you get when you smell it. It smells like it's going to be richer, more powerful, the peach, pineapple, and getting even into those more exotic uh, guava and a uh, bit of passion fruit. Uh, and uh, yes, yeah, certainly not afraid to flaunt its oak. And for some people, that uh, toasty, smoky character will be a good thing. For others, they'll think, I would like to have a little bit... Uh, a little bit more subtlety. Um, personally, I'd, I'd, I'd go for something a little more more, more subtle. Um, it, I can't fault it for an honest intensity, but um, there's a, the, the, the flavour I'm left with is on that uh, that smoky oak side. So if you like that, great. If you don't, well, you you may want to uh, look elsewhere. It's decent enough, and uh, it's again as with the first one, can't fault it for intensity. But um, maybe I'd like something a little bit more subtle. Hey, see you soon.